Welcome to this episode of The World Around Us, The Big Question, and this episode is can I catch the marker at the end when I flip it, and can I do this one in one take without like completely messing up my math or something? The previous two got them in one take, so let's, let's, see, let's see if we can keep that going here. In this episode, we are going to be trying to find the final distance if we are given other variables not including acceleration. So we're finding d sub f in a, in a situation such as a force of 50 newtons acts on an object with a mass of 10 kilograms. If it begins 30 meters from a mark and has an initial velocity of 20 meters per second, how far does it end up from the mark after an elapsed time of 8 seconds? So ultimately the question is how far, and the how far question is answered by d sub f. Find d sub f where, so now let's collect the variables from the problem. I've got a, I've got a force and a mass. Now I know that the force and mass do not directly go with d sub f, but I'm going to write them down anyway. And it says the force is, is 50 newtons. Force equals 50 newtons, mass equals m, mass equals 10 kilograms. It begins 30 meters from an initial mark. Begins, begins. That's going to be an initial something. It begins 30 meters, so that's distance. D initial distance is 30 meters from some mark, and it's already moving. It has an initial velocity. V sub i equals 20 meters per second. 20 meters per second. How far does it end up after an elapsed time of 8 seconds? T equals 8 seconds. Now, the, the, the distance equation, the equation with distance in it, is d sub f equals d sub i plus v i times t plus one half a t squared. So I've got I've got d sub i, I've got v sub i, I've got t, I've got t, I've got no a. Fortunately, I can find a using force and mass. So I'm going to do this little line thing, and I'm going to jump over here, and I'm going to say find a where because I, I need to I need to use this a in this place. So I'm going to need to calculate A using this information. Just to be verbose, I'm going to put F equals 50 newtons. And if you don't know what verbose means, you can look that up. That's a good, that's a good SAT word. Find, let's make that look like a D, find A where F equals 50 and M equals 10 kilograms. F equals ma. That's the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. So putting 50 in, 50 newtons equals 10 kilograms times a. I'm looking for a. Do that thing where we divide. Newtons divided by kilograms. Newtons divided by kilograms is meters per second squared. 50 divided by 10 is 5. 5 equals A. So now I'm going to jump in over here. I'm still looking for D sub F. D sub F is the thing I'm looking for. D sub F equals DI is 30 meters plus VI is 20 meters per second. T is 8 seconds. So second meters over seconds, that's going to cancel out, plus one half. I calculated A. I calculated A over here. So five is A. A, A, A follows it over. So five is going to be my A. One half, five meters per second squared times eight seconds squared. Ran out of room, as I often do. D sub F, D sub F equals 30 meters, doesn't change. 20 times 8 is 160, 160, we did that already, meters plus 
one half times five meters per second squared. Eight squared is 64, a second squared is second squared. 64 second squared. D sub F equals. I'm just going to go ahead and combine those because, you know, I'm right here. There they are. 190 meters plus. All right, let's do this. Let's take half of 64 because 64 is an even number, and I can take half of that. That's 32. So that's going to be 32 times 5. 32 times 5 is, three, is half of 320, and half of 320 is uh, 160. So let's try that on the calculator. Oh, let's see. Clear. So I have 32 times 5 is 160. Now I'm going to add. It's going to be 360 minus 10. So that would be 350. 350. I was regrouping there, so I took you know 10 off of the 60 and shoved it on, made that 200. Yeah, that's what I did. I can do it on the calculator plus 190 if I actually hit the plus button. And there it is, 350. 350 meters is D sub F. Find D sub F where all that stuff is true. Answer is. Not bad. That's it for this episode of this series. Look, it's not easy, but it's not hard. It's, it's really more unpleasant than it is difficult. And if you remember how to do the distance equation, then this other stuff is just like one more step that you have to do. Very simple step. Divide. To, you know, that's it. Caught it without looking. See you in the next episode. I was two for three on that pin flip. That doesn't count, though. Bye. Hey, welcome to this episode of the world around us in this episode we're going to actually check and see if the microphone on it is hey 